I just came back from exercise class. I got a good workout. Did you get any food? No, I didn't go to the store. What you working on? Goat time. Getting what? Getting water for the goats? Okay. Got home from exercise class, took a shower. Now I'm gonna refresh my coffee. I had some before class and uh, needed a little more, so I'm gonna refresh that, have some more coffee. I gotta show you here this package that came um, last night, actually. Uh, I'm excited to try this. This is a new product from Rx Sugar. Rx Sugar does um, allulose products, and they asked if they could send me their new brownie mix which looks really fun. And there's my ho there's my hollering Levi again. Hey, hey, shh, I'm doing a video. So let's see, five grams of fiber, five grams of protein, blood sugar friendly, no extra ingredients, just add water and microwave. They said you can do it, do like a brownie in a mug or you can do uh, in a pan if you want. Let's see. So it's allulose, almond flour, coconut flour, tapioca fiber, egg whites, cocoa and salt so 20 total carbs but 15 of those are allulose i personally don't count allulose um, in my carb count and then there's five grams of fiber there so it's a zero net carbs you'd think that the um, almond flour and coconut flour would have a little bit of net carbs in there so that's probably like rounded down I'd probably count at least one or two net carbs for this. Um, okay, so it's just one scoop, which is four tablespoons mixed with two tablespoons of water, stir well, and microwave for 45 seconds. So love the simplicity. Um, so I'm gonna have to try this. I'll let you know what I think. One thing that I have tested multiple times while using a CGM is Element. Element is my electrolyte of choice that I use every day. So I have had it many, many times while wearing a CGM and I have never had any kind of a blood sugar response to it. So I love that. Element uses a science-backed ratio of electrolytes in each of their packets. There's a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I will drink one or two of these throughout the day and that helps me feel my best. Element is the sponsor of the video today and they have a special offer for all of my viewers. If you want to get a free sample pack, you can get that with any purchase on their website just by using my link drinkelement.com slash indigo. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T.com slash indigo. You'll get this free sample pack added. It has eight of their regular flavors, so you can try them all out, see which ones you like the best, or it's a great way to pass on the gift of hydration to a friend. Thanks again to Element for sponsoring the video today. Okay, Leva, she's trying to be nice to you. That's fine, you don't have to do it, you just can say that in a kind way. Say, I don't really feel like it right now. Delivery of buck beef, yeah. buck beef meat. <laughs>
I'm doing some RX maple syrup on my pancakes. So lots of allulose on here and allulose actually is shown to help with blood sugar response when you consume it with carbs. So that's why I don't count it against my carbs because I'm trying to think of my blood sugar response. And so if this is actually reducing the effect of the other carbs in my meal, why would, why would I count it towards what's going to raise my blood sugar? It doesn't make sense to me. So anyways, don't count that. This is my breakfast. Big slice of bacon was one of the thick ones. One egg, two pancakes. The pancakes have a fair amount of protein in them because I used the Greek yogurt. There's an egg in there. I am really interested to see how my blood sugar does with the buckwheat. That will be very interesting. I My body does well with buckwheat, um, or at least it did when I tried it, I don't know, a year or so ago. Um, so I'm real interested to see what happens this time. It is a beautiful fall day out here. It rained yesterday and like there's a little bit of a breeze. It's overcast. The leaves are starting to fall. Like it's, oh, it's so beautiful. I love so much about, so much about fall. All right, I'm gonna try these pancakes. I, I uh, looked at a couple of recipes and they didn't look like what I wanted to do because I wanted to keep it, you know, a little bit lower on the carbs or moderate on the carbs. A lot of them had added sugar, of course, in different forms and then also milk. I decided to do the half a cup of Greek yogurt plus some water to thin it out. And they look nice and fluffy, like the texture looks amazing. So hopefully that's going to be good. Um, plenty of protein, you know, extra protein from the yogurt and all that. Mm. Okay, that's really good. Buckwheat has a unique texture and a unique flavor, and I like it. I think it's delicious. I, there's a buckwheat, creamy buckwheat cereal from uh, Bob's Red Mill, where it's just buckwheat, I think, crushed, and um, you cook it up as a hot cereal. It's really good. I want to get some of that too. But these are excellent. These are really, really good. And the two kids that have tried them so far like them. So it's a win with the kids too. So I'm really hoping that my blood sugar responds well to this because I would definitely do this again. So instead of waiting till the end of the video to show all of my calorie breakdown and blood sugar, I figured I would just do it after each meal. So here is my meal number one for the day. I actually intended to have a serving of cottage cheese with my breakfast and that was gonna bring my protein up a little bit higher. I usually prefer, especially my breakfast, to be at least 35 to 40 grams of protein, uh, but I only got 25.6 grams of protein here and that was just my mistake. Uh, it had 21.6 grams of fat and 41.4 total carbs. 12 grams of fiber, which is pretty hefty for one meal. Um, so it was 29.4 net carbs and 466 calories. Very, very happy with how my body handled the buckwheat pancake breakfast. I started with a blood sugar of 83, peaked at 94. So that is only an 11 point rise. Very happy with that. I, I do wonder how much that allulose um, with the meal caused that that spike to be so low. Um, and then two hours later, my blood sugar was at 75. So got 100 out of 100 on peak exposure, stability, and recovery on that meal. They're going to ruin the corn. In its cries of shock, but the shower of arrows soared through the air. Conversations grew louder around them, and people began to get to their feet. I can't even believe it went more. We've got to stop seeing each other. We can't be together. She said with a lovely twisted smile, it's the sun juices. It is three o'clock now and I am hungry for lunch, but I was pretty happy and uh, surprised about how long that breakfast kept me. Today was my grocery haul day, so I was out shopping all morning 
and um, I did film that, but it'll be a separate uh, weekly grocery haul video. I went to Trader Joe's and I got um, cauliflower gnocchi, and I thought that would be a fun test to do on my blood sugar. So I have my air fried cauliflower gnocchi. It almost looks like tater tots or something, and I put some... I sprayed them a little bit with avocado oil, just very minimally, and then put some Redmond season salt on there. And then also, I the only meat I had defrosted um, was some stew meat. So I was like, okay, whatever. I just uh, cooked it up in a pan real quick. Um, tried not to cook it too much through because uh, I wanted it a little bit rare. So I have six ounces of stew meat. It was pretty lean. And then I have um, 15 grams or half an ounce of blue cheese crumbles on there for some flavor. So this is what I'm going to dig into right now. And to go with it, I do have a cola zevia. Here's what I had in my lunch. Protein on this meal came in at 58.1 grams. Fat came in at 21.4 grams. And total carbs were 44.5. 12.5 grams of fiber, so that makes 32 net carbs. And then 624 calories for my lunch total. Definitely not as good of a blood sugar response on my lunch as on my breakfast. And one thing that I have noted um, since wearing the CGM is that I do tend to have a higher uh, glucose response at my lunch meal, no matter what it is. Um, so interesting that that trend continues. I got a meal score of 78. My peak was just fine, got 100 out of 100 there. Um, I started with a blood sugar of 82, peaked at 124, and then was 92 two hours later. So not quite back down to baseline. So my recovery didn't get 100. Um, uh, score and then my stability, lowest versus highest glucose. Um, it was just a, a, a large degree of variation there. And then also the exposure, the area under the glucose curve, not ideal. Definitely with the gnocchi, I might try a smaller portion or I might try including some allulose with the meal because if you notice, I didn't have any allulose with this meal and um, I would be curious to know how that would affect things. It would be really interesting at some point to do a series of uh, tests where I do the exact same meal with some allulose added and then the same meal just without the allulose and see the difference in the blood sugar responses. That would be something fun to play with. It's 7.15 and I am actually really, really hungry. Been running around, had to pick up kids, drop off kids, pick up kids. And so I've been running around. I probably should have eaten like an hour ago. I was that hungry. So I just got home, threw together my yogurt. Um, and this is four ounces of my homemade half and half probiotic yogurt mixed with six ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. And then I stirred in a scoop of the Equip Prime Protein to get an extra 20 uh, grams of grass-fed beef protein in there. And there is, these bugs are just really giving me grief uh, recently. <laughs> Um, and uh, for my carb on this one, I added some banana. I am going to eat this and that's gonna get me started. I may add more if I am still hungry. I still, with just this, I'll still be kind of low on calories, but it'll just be depending on how I feel. So I'm gonna sit down and eat this quickly. I finished my yogurt. That was delicious, just what I needed. Um, I am going to finish off with something savory. Just felt like I needed something savory with, instead of just an entirely sweet meal. So I'm going to have a slice of Havarti cheese and three ounces of Black Forest ham. Here are all of the components of my dinner meal. Protein came in at 63.5 grams. Fat came in at 24.8. Total carbs were 39.3, 4.1 grams of fiber for 35.2 net carbs and it came in at 658 calories. And I was very happy with my blood sugar response on this one. I started with a blood sugar of 87, peaked at 100, so that's only a 13 point rise. And then two hours later, I was at a blood sugar of 94, not quite back down to baseline yet. So I just got a 94 out of 100 on recovery for a 98 score on the meal overall. So here's a quick view of my blood sugar for the day. You can see after my lunch meal is where I had the biggest spike, which is really interesting. Uh, but besides that, it was pretty steady throughout the day. And going over to my trends tab, I had a variability of 13. That is good. Uh, you want it to be 14 or under. So happy with the 13. And 
and then my average glucose for the whole day was 83, no worries there at all. So for the entire day, my calories ended up at 1,914. Uh, I will mention that my coffee with cream that I had I think two times during the day, it was not included in the meal breakdown. So if you go and take the calories from all three meals and add them up, it doesn't quite add up to 1914 because it's not showing the coffee and cream. I got 149.7 grams of protein. That was 32.2% of my calories. I got 82.2 grams of fat. That was 39.7% of my calories. And I got 131.2 total carbs. 28.6 grams of fiber and 102.5 net carbs for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this peek into my blood sugar throughout the day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video.